California. So I'll be setting up a new greenhouse. It's quite dirty, but that's how it looks from the inside. And I'll be fixing this for my Hoyas. So let's see how it looks. Now I bought this from a little Dollar Tree off-brand knockoff for a dollar literally and this is really helpful for me um some of my nursery pots where i have hoyas are very little and when i put them here they kind of like sink down and you know they don't they're like wobbly so i got this so that i could you know for support for the plants so we're gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna put this for each layer it's gonna be the first time i'll be using this and it's water resistant so let's go ahead and check it out so this is how it looks let me just go ahead and start cutting it so that i'm gonna do this for each row all right guys and so this is how it ended up looking like i was it was enough for three rows however the last bottom two don't have any this has a little bit but the last one doesn't really have much but that's fine that should be enough now for the fun part just to fill it up with hoyas I have to come back because there's so many mosquitoes out there and it really hurts. So some anti-repellent mosquitoes. Insect repellent. Now I specifically wanted to do this so that I could put this Hoya in the greenhouse because it's grown quite massive. This one is sitting on a four inch planter. It's Hoya Chivorium, but the, ten, the trellises that I have it in are 24 inch, so two foot long. Um, so we're gonna see if it fits in here. Oh, it doesn't fit. It kind of fits, but not really fit. So it doesn't fit in here, which was kind of why I sort of did that. Um, it's quite happy where it's at. It's just, it's a little bit too big. So, I'm not sure. So I actually found the place for it. I'm, I actually put it here. Um, it's sitting on a little tray of water. And it's long enough so that the tendril can fit in the, in the greenhouse. All right, so this is how it um, it's looking like. And this is how I'm gonna leave it for the time being. Um, I have it. I don't have used the bottom two layers. All right, so these are the little ones that I'm telling you guys that, um, like if I were to just put it like that, see, it'll like fall through. So that's why I need to have it in like a little this because this, you know, helps the plant to not fall over. It also helps with this ones because this fall over. This one is Latifolia Snow Queen which is doing something. I think that's gonna fall off because of the color, but I mean, it's doing quite good. Just put it in here. So there I have some Hoyas that I have already in here. Um, and yeah, that's how it's looking. I'm gonna give this a nice rinse with some fertilizer. But that's how it's looking so far. First row, second row, third row, and then the fourth row, I actually put my Hoya um, Mini Bell. I mean, my Hoya Bella. I have a parachute plant over there and then I have my pink wicca right here absorbing nasty uh, fungus gnats and whatnot from there. Now I'm gonna actually water the plants. So I have my Hoya Retusa right there. All of these plants I'm just watering thoroughly. You can see this little Hoya uh, Filisonii with a little mushroom that go in there. That tells me that the soil is really nice and fertilizable. 
natin just for a while mostly for your umbrella that loves water alright so that's it for now I'm gonna call it a quick I'm gonna turn off this water there you go I'm gonna worry some of these plants that I have right here on the side This one's need water too. I have my Edith Colia Grandis right there. It's really quite nice. Aloe plants. Sophie! I have Puya. Look at my Hoya Uwabata. So many peduncles all over, but it's so big. Um, I just have it soaking up water right now, which much needed it. But it's just so big. And it has peduncles, like I'm telling you guys. All over. See, peduncle right there. The stems are just like massive. See how the stems grow? It's just getting a little bit overhand. So I need to find a place to get this hoya because it's quite big so far. And I have it soaking up water. There you go. I'll be spraying the greenhouse with some Dr. Earth Final Stop Organic Gardening Yard Insect Killer, aphids, mites, white flies, caterpillars, fleas, and spiders. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of these. And it has a strong fragrance, so you kind of want to be careful with this one. <clears throat> and that's about it. Alright, now I'm just going to let it go. Close this. Close this, and that's it. That's the other greenhouse that I have. Now, something cool about this greenhouse is that in the back there's a little gap opening so that the Hoyas can breathe. That's how it looks from the sides. I have some other Hoyas over here. I have another greenhouse right here. This one is like this because I actually motion the plants um, in little trays right here with water. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But the new greenhouse, or well, it's not new, but it's a new setup. It's right here. So I have one right here. I have the other one right there, and then this one. So that's three. Yes, okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm a mess. It's okay. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Kapungarigato, kusama sa lahat.